am sensing something. As if the numbers want me to listen. That is it. The numbers we acquired at the ruins are trying to tell me two tales. Oh. The first tells of a valiant knight who fell in battle. The winged horse Pegasus sped to its master's rescue, and the two parted from this earthly realm, their bond cemented for all eternity. The second tells of a great warrior who would battle only with his hands. Afraid of the warrior becoming too powerful, he was labeled a traitor and banished from his homeland. These legends tell of when the Barians were human? Still together as one, cause divided we're none. Ready to go, we feel the flow. So don't stand in our way, you know we ain't afraid. This is our time, we're in control. If I trip up today, you just wipe it away. All of my fears are gone, erased. Let us stand on the walls, till the final night falls. Bonds of our souls can't be replaced Let us fight together Regret it never My dreams will be Halfway to forever Our light comes shining through Reach down deep Beat deep feet Do all that we can do Halfway to forever We've got nothing to lose Keep breathing Believing Halfway to forever Of it. Huh? Quit your daydreaming. Who? Me? Who else? Let me guess you were thinking about that Barry and Alito again, right, Yuma? Well, yeah. It's like he's totally changed. Don't be so sure. Maybe you just saw his true colors for the first time. True colors? We are beginning our descent at point G107, the, the location of the fourth Metherian number. I wonder what this next ruin will be like. Me too! Hey, do you think we might learn of another legend when we find it? If so, I hope it's about rainbows and puppies this time, because all the others have been such downers. Galaxy Eyes is calling to me. Could a duel soon be in the cards for us? Quite unsettling. The legend I discovered at the underground temple. I already knew the story inscribed on the walls. But how could that be since it was the first time I went there? Dumon. Huh? I take it you acquired the Metherian number? No. Unfortunately, it was taken by Astral and Yuma. What? What happened, Dumon? Did you meet with some trouble? My hunt for the number led me through a maze of traps. I am lucky to have escaped at all. But before I got away, I found a legend written in stone. When I read it, I felt something inside me awaken. Like a hidden memory. A hidden memory? Mizar, I have been thinking. There are seven Metherian numbers, and we are seven emperors. Is this simply coincidence? Dumon. Are you implying that there is a link between the legends of these foolish humans and we Barians? In any case, I will double our efforts to gather the Metherian numbers before our foes collect any more.
So that means we're gonna have to climb all the way up there to get it? Uh. Let's get going. About that, I don't think I can climb, Master Kite. That crash landing pulverized my processors! Count me out, too. I'd start my thing. Guess I'll stay here. All alone. Oh, no, you won't. I'm no fan of rock climbing. I'll stay with you. Yeah? Of course. It's more fun to be alone when you've got company. Uh, that's awesome, Rio. We'll get in some girl time. Just us. I I've got loads of g gossip! Come on, guys. Let's go. This thing won't climb itself. Promise me that you'll be careful! Don't worry, Tori. I'm the son of an adventurer. But your dad was a pro. He could climb mountains. You have a hard time climbing stairs. Jeez, Tori. You're beginning to sound just like Kari. When you get the number, you come right back. You hear me? You can count on it. The trick to climbing mountains is to get a foothold first, then stretch your arm out and hoist yourself up like this. Also, it's important to keep an eye out for each other. Climbing is a team sport. Why climb at all? You've got enough hot air to float up, Yuma. What was that? A roar, like that of a dragon. This must be why Galaxy Eyes is so agitated. Don't worry, I got you, Kite. Like I told Shark, it pays to watch each other's backs up here. I wonder if Yuma and the others are okay. Especially Master Kite! Oh, they'll be fine. It's us I'm worried about. I'm starving. Luckily, I brought some snacks. All right! You humans have no self-control. Sure we do. If we didn't, I would have recycled you by now. <sighs> Can't see. Fog's too thick. Yeah, we finally made it to the top. Maybe, but this isn't what I expected. Uh -huh. I think that goes for all of us. Oh, who would have guessed that after a dangerous climb up an enormous mountain, we'd run straight into an enormous door. Leading to an enormous temple. Anyone else picking up on an enormous pattern here? Get it? Because everything's enormous? Yeah, we get it, Yuma. Guess someone's expecting us. But who'd be waiting for us up here? I've got a hunch, but trust me, you won't like it. I think the Barians are here. Be ready. Mm. Oh. I smell something. Yuma. Yeah, right over here. You think it's a Barian? <laughs> It smells too yummy to be a barian. Uh, 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 oh, oh, bet it tastes as good as it smells. Don't count on finding out. Stay away from my lunch. Hey, watch it, that hurt. What do you think you're doing, mister? Funny, that is what I should be asking. How dare you try to eat my stewed pig's feet? Uh, uh, no, I was just looking. Yes, looking like a foolish raccoon thieving by day. You've got me all wrong. You're lying. I am not lying. Now you're lying about all the lying you've done. Uh, hmm. uh, Who are you? More liars? Excuse our moronic friend. We've come to these ruins to find a number. Hmm. A number? I sense you ally yourself with the dragon. That's right. And I have a strong feeling that I'm not the only one, am I? <coughs> so you do have a dragon. Just who are you, old man? My name is Jin Lam, the guardian of the number here at Temple Dragos. To make this climb show spirit. <laughs> you remind me of someone that I once knew long ago, young one. Who? 
A brave duelist who dared face the fiercest of dragons. Their savage battle has gone on to become the stuff of legend at these ruins. That duelist he knew was Mizar. Say what? I see. So you are familiar with the legend of Temple Dragos as well, stranger. Hold on, how can that be? Mizar's a barian. He's not from this world. Perhaps not, Yuma, but this is what the numbers we retrieve from the ruins have told me. <laughs> I learned that the seven Metherian numbers each tell a story of one of the Barian emperors when they were still human many centuries ago. No way! The Barians were humans? Why didn't you tell us? Apologies, Shark. Whoa, that means the legends at the ruins we found so far have been all about the Barians. Yuma, Shark, huh? I'll be the one to handle this duel, got it? How come, Kite? because I don't think it's just a coincidence that I'm here. It's fate. My dragon and I were destined to face Jin Lon and duel his beast. Very well. If you are able to defeat me and my fearsome dragon, I will hand over this ruin's number as your trophy. But if you lose, I take your dragon instead. Is that understood? Suit yourself. Just know that there's no way that you'll win. You are like a peacock, little more than a bone veneer. Go photon transformation. <laughs> Augmented reality vision link established. Let's do it! Before we begin, I have to know one thing. Was it your dragon Mazar had to battle against Jin Lon? If so, did you beat Mazar in this legendary duel? Maybe if you win, I will tell you. Let us begin! I draw! I summon Mythic Tree Dragon! <laughs> and since I have Mythic Tree Dragon on my field, you're about to get all wet because I'm allowed to summon this! Mythic Water Dragon! Next, I activate Mythic Tree Dragon's special ability! When there is a water monster on my field, I can double Mythic Tree Dragon's level! Jinlan's already got two level 8 monsters on his field! And the best is yet to come! I overlay my level 8 Mythic Tree Dragon and Mythic Water Dragon! With these two monsters, I built the Overlay Network and XC Summon! Number 46, Dragluan! your number beat in no time. I think not. This is the mightiest of all dragons. Oh, really? I'll be the judge. Let's see what it can do. As you wish, I activate Dragluan's special ability. When I have no other dragons on my field other than this one, I can use one overlay unit to summon another dragon from my hand. Luckily, I know just the monster to choose, and I cannot wait to show you. Arise, armed protector dragon! <laughs> His numbers vanished. Hey, where did Dragluan go? <laughs> it is like a chameleon hiding in plain sight. When I have a dragon on my field, my Dragluan special ability stops you from attacking it or using any effects to do it damage. In other words, as long as Arm Protector Dragon is around, you can't harm my number. So I'll make sure Arm Protector Dragon stays safe by guarding it with Dragon Shield. This superior shield blocks you from destroying Arm Protector Dragon or dealing it any damage. <laughs> oh, and did I mention that every time my Arm Protector Dragon is shielded by an equip spell, it gains 500 attack points! Kite's in a tough spot. You can't defeat the number if he doesn't destroy Arm Protector Dragon. And he can't do that unless he destroys Protect Shield first. But that won't happen. <gasps> and I can thank Arm Protector Dragon's second special ability for that. It prevents you from destroying any card equipped onto Arm Protector Dragon. <laughs> what? Uh-oh! This is troublesome. Both Armed Protector Dragon and Dragon Shield have effects that defend one another. Played together, they become an indestructible defense, and neither can be destroyed. 
I end my turn. Then it's my move. I draw! I play Overlay Sentinel! And it lets me summon Overlay Booster! Our dual field won't get too crowded because... they won't be sticking around for long. Next, I tribute my Overlay Sentinel and Booster! I summon a monster more savage than a supernova! A cosmic scourge that vaporizes anything in its path! Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! Yeah, Galaxy Eyes! But I wonder if it'll be enough to find a way around Jinlan's defense. I see a way. Kite's dragon can break through his unbreakable strategy. Oh, it could? How? Don't you remember? Galaxy Eyes has a special ability where it can banish itself and the opponent's monster from play. So if Kite removes Armed Protector Dragon from the field, Dragon Shield will be destroyed, since it'll have nothing to guard. Doesn't it ring a bell? Kite used the same move to clobber you. Right! How could I forget? I have been eager to see your dragon. Well, you'll wish you had never seen it once I give you a taste of its power. Do not count on it! Why not? Because Dragluan's other special ability activates! It negates the special ability of other dragons, such as your galaxy eyes! No, galaxy eyes! No, galaxy eyes! Now, like a mouse in a trap, you are stuck! Without your dragon's special ability, you cannot break my defense. You might say that I've clipped your dragon's wings. Think again. You've put together a solid defense, I'll give you that. It's as if you built a brick wall around your field to keep you safe from being attacked. But what you didn't count on was me being a wrecking ball, ready to smash your defense apart with a spell Book of Moon. It switches one of your face-up monsters face down. Very cunning indeed. I'm sure you know an equip spell can't be used on a monster that's face down in defense mode. So say bye bye to Dragon Shield! But the best part of all, Dragluan now has to come out of hiding. Seeing your dragon again reminds me of how bad I want to take it down. And to do that, what's left of your defense has got to go! Now! Galaxy Eyes, let's finish this! Destroy Arm Protector Dragon! Go Photon Stream of Destruction! Yeah! Galaxy Eyes is putting on the pressure! You're completely wide open. Without your wall of defense to hide behind, there's nothing keeping me from beating you. Oh, I can't say I agree. But I will say you are doing quite well. You see, this duel is really a test. You faced my wall of defense, as you call it, and brought it down. I am quite pleased with your performance, so far. Yeah, like I care. I don't need you grading my dueling, understand? Okay, okay. Sheesh. Boy, I think you've got to be the grouchiest duelist I have ever battled. <laughs> you and Mizar really are birds of a feather. Same anger and passion for dueling. Not to mention your egos. Be quiet. I am nothing like him. Hmm, we shall see. Hopefully your actions echo your words. You know what the best part of your test is, Kite? That I get to see if you really have the spirit to go all the way with this duel. Now then, there is one more obstacle in your way before you get to me. Are you ready, Kite? I was born ready to handle anything you could throw at me. I place one card face down and end my turn. This is the place. The Metherian number must be up there. There is no mistaking the power I sense. There is a dragon nearby. My turn! I draw! I activate Dragluan's special ability! By using one overlay unit, I can summon a dragon from my hand! Come forth, Soul Drain Dragon! So this means that Drag 
Obi-Wan can go back into hiding. Uh, like it did before. Your friends are half right. Just like before, you can't harm my number with a new dragon on my field. But to keep things interesting, there is a brand new twist to my strategy this time, Kite. Soul Drain Dragon gains attack points equal to your life points. <laughs> huh? Are you serious? <gasps> Afraid so. You have 4,000 life points. That means my Soul Drain Dragon gains just as many attack points. <laughs> And one last thing for you to worry about. Even if you do manage to destroy this monster, you will take damage equal to half its attack points. Whoa, no way! So if Kite tries to destroy Soul Drain Dragon, he'll lose the duel instantly. But if he doesn't end up destroying it, a single attack from it will be enough to annihilate all his life points anyway. This duel has taken a turn for the worse. Kite will lose if he does not destroy his opponent's dragon. However, he cannot do so because it has too many attack points. This is one test that is difficult to overcome. You played a good duel, but playtime is over! <laughs>